Now, the bull ring in Birmingham is uh, evacuated for the second day running, uh, second day running, sorry, following a chemical leak. Ten people were taken to hospital yesterday. Thirty more were treated at the scene, suffering from nausea and watery eyes. Well, this morning, another seven people have been taken ill. Let's go over uh, to the shopping centre in Birmingham and Matt Cook. Uh, Matt, what is going on here? Well, actually in the Birmingham newsroom here, but it's all started in the early hours of yesterday morning at 3.45 a.m. when five security guards felt ill. As you said, they were suffering from watery eyes, nausea and vomiting. They reported a smell of fumes coming from within the centre. They were all sent to Birmingham City Hospital where they were treated. So the decision was made to open the centre again to the public at uh, around 9 o'clock. Quickly after, two more Bullring staff felt ill, so the centre was completely evacuated. 250 staff, mainly from the Debenhams department store in the uh, retail centre there, were checked over by paramedics at the scene. From those, eight were sent to hospital in the area as well. Now that meant the whole site was closed for the entire day. Obviously 142 stores and a lot of potential uh, customers affected by this. So overnight, hazardous substance teams were in the building. They were taking various samples, which we believe they were checking over overnight. A decision was made to reopen the Bullring Centre this morning, and quickly after, again, as you said, more people felt ill. This time, seven people uh, were feeling ill. Again, watery eyes, nausea and vomiting. Two of those have now been sent to hospital. So again, for the second day running, Bull, uh, the Bullring is closed. And where is this leak coming from, and what is it? Well, an investigation is still ongoing, so we don't really know, or we've not been told uh, more to the point at the moment. We do know it's isolated to one particular area between the Debenhams store and the New Look store, which are both quite big retail uh, sectors within the entire ball ring. So at the moment, the investigation is still going on, but as I said, the entire centre is closed. Uh, West Midlands Police are looking at this, and all press inquiries, interestingly, to the Bull Ring Centre are being diverted to West Midlands Police and we believe that uh, emergency services are now getting together to see what caused this uh, and how they can stop uh, anything else happening later on the day. Keep us posted. Thanks, Matt.